This lesson is for section 3-4. We're going to be writing equations of lines. So today, um, you're going to be writing equations of lines in slope-intercept form, standard form, and point-slope point form, uh, depending on what information they give and what they ask. So there's a little hint up here um, that says, unless you're given the slope and y-intercept, always use point-slope form first. So the only case which you don't want to start with point-slope form is if you're given the slope and the y-intercept, because then you can just use slope-intercept form. But in all other cases, make sure you're always using point-slope form first. Really important. Okay, so um, if you're given a slope and a point, so this point is just a normal point, it's not the y-intercept, you're going to use point-slope form first. Okay, if you are given two points, now this time we're missing some information, right? We need to find the slope first and then use point-slope form. Okay, so we've got a couple examples here that we're going to start with. I'm going to do one and then have you guys try the other one. Um, I will not go through the solution with you. You can just check the answer with the key. Okay, so the first question says it passes through the point. So we're writing an, an equation of a line um, that passes through the point 5, negative 3 with a slope of 1 half. So we want to write this answer in slope-intercept form. Well, I don't want to just go ahead and say y equals 1 half x minus 3, which is what a lot of people do. They look at this and they say, oh, that's a y, so I'm going to just plug it in. But this is not the y-intercept, right? So I can't make that negative 3 equal the y-intercept. In this case, what I want to do, the fastest method, is to actually put this into point-slope form first. So like we said earlier, we want to put that in point-slope form. So we're going to use y plus 3, because we're going to take the opposite of this number here, that y-coordinate, equals 1 half the slope times x minus 5. Now, since I want to put this in a slope-intercept form, this is the skill that we practiced yesterday, we're going to distribute and combine our terms so that we have y alone. So I have y plus 3 equaling 1 half x minus 5 halves. And now I'm going to subtract that 3 over to the other side. So when I do that, um, I'm just going to show the work for this. Um, you could do this with mental math as well, but I like to just show this out when I'm doing the problems and keying these. So I'm subtracting 3, right, on the other side. I would subtract this 3 here. Well, I'm going to write that 3 as 6 halves in order to be able to um, combine the 5 halves and the, and the 6 halves. So I'm left with y equaling 1 half x minus 11 halves, because when you're um, subtracting or adding fractions, you do not uh, change the denominator. So the de denominator stays the same. If you have trouble with doing this, um, you need to make sure that you go back and you look at the algebra review. Um, there is a tutorial on how to uh, you know, add and subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Okay, next question. So this is where I would want you to pause, guys, and try number two, and then check that with the key. I'm going to move on now to three, so go ahead and pause. Okay, number three says um, that now this time the line is passing through the point 8, negative 3 with a slope of 1, 6, and this time I want it in standard form. So this question is pretty similar to the last one. I'm given a point, right? Here's my point, here's my slope. So I know that m equals 1, 6, and I know I have a point 8, negative 3. This is not the y-intercept either, so I'm going to put this directly into point-slope form. So I have y plus 3 equals 1, 6 times x minus 8. Okay, so I'm taking the opposite of the, the y-coordinate and the opposite of the x-coordinate and plugging that into point-slope form. Now, I want to get this eventually into standard form. Before I can get it into standard form, I need to distribute like I did with slope-intercept form, and then I can rearrange my terms. So I'm going to distribute here, and I get y plus 3 equals 1 6th x minus 8 6th is the same as 4 thirds, so minus 4 thirds. And then I'm going to subtract that 3 over to the other side, so I have y equals 1 6th x minus 4 thirds minus 3 is the same as 9 thirds. So I'm just rewriting 3 as 9 thirds, and I'm subtracting that there. And I get 1 6th x minus 13 thirds. Now, my goal is to get this into standard form, right? Standard form has the x and the y on the same side. So what I'm going to do now is move that 1 6th x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract that over and I'm left with negative 1 6th x 
plus y equaling negative 13 thirds. Now standard form, this is pretty close, but standard form needs to have integer coefficients. So I need to get rid of that 6 in the denominator here and that 3 here. And I can do that all at once by multiplying by 6 throughout the entire equation. So if I multiply by 6 throughout the entire equation, I'm left with negative x plus 6y equaling negative 26. And that's how I would get rid of that um, denominator and have integer coefficients. Now some of the books that you're, you're you know that you'll come across will make you do a positive coefficient in front of the x term. I don't really care for that. It doesn't matter. Um, so you can have a negative here, but you do need to make sure you have integer coefficients. Okay, the next one is yours to try on your own. Um, and I'm going to move on to number five. So if you want to pause now um, and then check the key, that would be great. Okay, so number five says it's a little bit different. So here we're given two points. Um, it's going to you know, increase the difficulty a little bit because here I'm not given the slope. In the other two problems, they just handed me the slope. Here I have to actually figure that out for myself. So I'm going to take the information here. It says I have an x-intercept of negative 3, and I'm going to write that as the coordinate negative 3, 0. If it has a y-intercept of 4, that means I have the coordinate 0, 4. So now I'm left with um, you know, two points but no slope. So the first thing I have to do here is find my slope. So I'm going to take points or uh, slope formula here. You can stack your points. I'm going to pick 4 and put the 0 on the bottom. And I'm going to put 0 on top and negative 3 on the bottom. Subtract in between, and I get positive 4 thirds. So if my slope is 4 thirds, um, and I want to put this in a slope intercept form, I actually don't need to put this in a point slope form because if you remember, they gave us the y-intercept, so I can just say plus 4 here. They already give me the y-intercept, so that way I don't have to go through the whole hassle of putting in a point slope form first. So you want to, you know, create shortcuts for yourself, look for things like that. If that was the point 1, 4, though, you can't use that 4, right, as the y-intercept, because it's not the y-intercept. It has to be specifically a coordinate with x equals 0. All right, you're going to try number 6, so go ahead and pause. I'll do number 7. Um, so number 7 says uh, basically the same information, but now we're going to put it into standard form. So I'm basically doing a problem just like number 1 and, and 3 on the front side, because it's just adding an extra step. So if it passes through the points 2, 4, and negative 5, 6, I want to find the slope first. And my slope is going to be found by, let's do 4 over 2 and 6 over negative 5, subtract in between. And I get negative 2 sevenths. Okay, so if I want to put this in standard form, I need to first start with point slope form because I can't go directly to slope intercept form like I was able to in the last question. Neither of these are y intercepts, so I can't do that. I'm going to start with point slope form. And in this case, since I'm given two, I know this you know, might sound confusing, but it doesn't matter either one. I could pick either one, and I'm still going to get the same answer, the same result in the end. So it really makes no difference which one you choose. So I'll do this first one. So I have y minus 4 equaling negative 2 sevenths times x minus 2. I'm going to distribute. And I end up with positive 4 sevenths here in that, uh, after I distribute that term. And now I'm going to add the 4. And so when I add this 4 to the other side, think of this as 28 sevenths, right? You're going to add 28 sevenths to this, and you get 32 sevenths. Okay, now, I want to get this in standard form, so I need to move this x term over to the left. So I'm going to add 2 sevenths to get 2 sevenths x plus y equaling 32 sevenths. And again, I need to get integer coefficients, so this time I can multiply by positive 7 here to get rid of that 7 in the denominator. When I do that, I am left with the equation 2x plus 7y, so make sure you're distributing it here, here, and here, equaling 32. And that would be my final answer with integer coefficients in standard form. Okay, you're going to try number 8 on your own. Um, this is the end of the lesson. Hopefully uh, this is coming back to you pretty quick because this is all review.